In the Old West, existence was characterized by a harsh and unforgiving environment, where the strict puritanical sanctions typical of the conservative counterpart in the eastern United States didn't find such easy application. Society was less severe regarding norms of behavior and morality. In 1843, Tom Tobin emerged as a remarkable Irish-American adventurer, whose skills and experiences led him to play multiple prominent roles in the Old West of the United States. Fearless mountain man, Tobin gained renown as an excellent tracker, skilled hunter, experienced guide and scout for the United States Army. In the Old West, it was common for people to consume beer at room temperature, unlike the European traditions where the drink was often served chilled. In the year 1873, most of the beers available in the towns and villages of the American West were locally produced or from small regional breweries. The figure of the Oglala Chief Red Cloud, with his imposing full headdress, symbolizes the profound cultural and spiritual richness of the Native American people. This image contrasts with the figure of American Horse, who wears Western clothing and carries a weapon in his holster. Hunting played a crucial role throughout the history of the Old West. After water, the availability of food was a vital necessity for the survival of pioneer communities in the region. The settlers learned the skill of hunting and how to utilize the natural resources of the land to sustain their lives. The everyday life of a Westerner in the late 19th century was permeated with various striking contrasts. One of the most notable aspects of this period was the significant role played by cowboys in the global economy. These daring cowhands performed a crucial function. The presence of cure-all remedies in the Old West is a practice that dates back to the earliest days of human history. These magical elixirs promised a multitude of benefits, from protection against the deadliest diseases to good luck and relief from unhappiness. Water has always played a fundamental role in the Old West, even before the region became part of the United States. This vast territory has always grappled with the scarcity and variability of this vital resource. Water was a source of conflict, and at the same time, a factor that brought local communities together. In the 19th century, the California Gold Rush marked a historic event that attracted a vast and diverse number of settlers and prospectors from various regions of the country. Among the many activities that emerged during this bustling time, Poker found a haven in the saloons and dance halls frequented by individuals caught up in the gold fever. Initially, killer Jim Miller adeptly maintained a flawless public image, portraying himself as an exemplary citizen of the Old West. His outward facade completely deceived those around him, leaving people bewildered by the notion that such a respected and virtuous man could, in reality, be a ruthless and bloodthirsty killer. With the historic discovery of gold in California, a veritable horde of prospectors was drawn westward, eager to seek their fortunes. Driven by the dream of finding gold and completely transforming their lives, these fearless adventurers were willing to bravely face any obstacles that arose in their journey. In the backdrop of the Old West, early barbers played a crucial role not only as haircutters and barbers, but also as surgeons and dispensers of remedies. This close connection between the barbershop and medicine dates back to a time when medical knowledge and healthcare were less organized and institutionalized. During the trail journey, the diet of cowboys in the Old West consisted of simple foods that provided them with the necessary nutrition to endure their long trips. Key elements of the cowboy diet included beans, hardtack biscuits, jerky, dried fruits, and coffee. The practice of cattle branding has its origins in ancient Egypt, around 2700 BC. Over time, this tradition spread to Europe during the Middle Ages and reached the southwestern United States through Spanish vaqueros and later Mexican vaqueros. During the California Gold Rush, there was a surge in demand for mail services, which significantly intensified the westward expansion. The prospectors, entrepreneurs, and pioneers migrating to California in search of wealth and opportunities heavily relied on these services to stay in contact with their families and businesses in other regions. Life on the frontier of the Old West was characterized by a tough and adversity-filled daily routine. The brave individuals who settled in these remote areas faced a series of daily challenges. From a young age, children were involved in assisting with chores, and even the youngest ones, aged four or five, were already put to work. At the end of the 19th century, buffalo hunters played a significant role in the economy and trade of the American West. The city of Leavenworth, located in Kansas, emerged as a crucial trading center for buffalo hides. Hunters brought vast quantities of these hides to be sold and processed in this area. Clay Allison, an iconic figure of the Old West and renowned gunfighter, 
had a unique approach to his firearm skills. He saw himself more as a marksman than just a gunslinger. Famous for his proficiency with a six-shooter revolver, he was recognized as a true master in the art of shooting. The emergence of the horse culture among the indigenous peoples of the plains began significantly after the Pueblo Revolt in 1680. During this time, various Pueblo tribes united and expelled the Spanish colonizers from the territory of New Mexico. During this uprising, the indigenous people captured thousands of horses and other animals that were raised by the Spanish. Indeed, during the westward expansion, a large number of pioneers and cowboys who confronted the vast frontiers were enthusiastic coffee drinkers. Cowboys in particular stood out as a dedicated and avid consumer of this beverage. Valuing coffee for its stimulating properties, they found in its aroma and flavor a rejuvenating companion during their challenging journeys across the frontier. Born around 1825 in Mason County, Kentucky, Roy Bean was a man destined to seek adventure in the Wild West. At 15 years old, he left his home behind and followed in the footsteps of his two older brothers on a journey filled with challenges and opportunities. As he moved through the West, Roy Bean led a nomadic life. The trajectory of Lasso, an indispensable skill in the livestock industry, has origins dating back to the influence of Spanish conquerors in the American West during the 18th century. Spanish ranchers and their skilled Mexican cowboys, known as vaqueros, played a crucial role in interacting with the Texas cowboys. Over the years, the Old West has become a truly fascinating and vibrant part of American culture, especially in the Midwest region. Its presence in literature and cinema has played a crucial role in shaping a collective imagination filled with adventure, pioneering spirit, and overcoming obstacles. Anna Emmeline McDoulet, better known as Cattle Annie, became famous in the Old West as a young American outlaw. Her story often intertwined with that of Jenny Stevens, also called Little Britches. Both were teenagers who ventured into criminal activities, involving themselves in bank robberies and aiding gangs of outlaws. Before the discovery of gold near present-day Denver in 1858, the development of Colorado did not immediately necessitate the construction of railroads. However, after the gold discovery and the subsequent gold rush, railroads played a crucial role in the rapid growth and development of the state. The history of the Texas Rangers is rich and dates back almost 200 years, playing a fundamental role in shaping the history of Texas. As a law enforcement and public safety force, the Texas Rangers took on the mission of patrolling the Texas frontier, protecting settlers from the numerous dangers and conflicts that plagued the region at that time. As we reach the end of this video, we want to thank all of you for joining us. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any future content. In the 19th century, photography documented life on the American frontier, including depictions of prostitutes in their quarters. These women often posed to showcase themselves in front of the camera. A prominent example of this approach can be seen in a specific image from Alaska, originating in the 1890s, in which these women play a central role in the photographic composition. In the 1870s in Death Valley, we witnessed a significant advancement in the transportation of the valuable mineral borax. To traverse the arid and vast Great Basin Desert, sturdy caravans were employed, each of them pulled by an impressive team of 20 mules. In the photograph, Black Elk can be seen on the left, and he played significant roles in two crucial historical events in the United States. He was involved in the Battle of Little Bighorn in 1876, a widely known confrontation between the United States forces and various Great Plains tribes, notably the Lakota Sioux. Quanah Parker, a prominent Comanche leader, had a remarkable and highly symbolic journey. His mother, Cynthia Ann Parker, a white woman, was captured and assimilated into the Comanche tribe when she was a child. Quanah emerged as a central figure in Comanche resistance during a tumultuous period when buffalo hunters began to encroach upon and threaten the traditional lands of his people. The image depicts two women posing in an elegantly decorated room inside a brothel in Miles, Montana. At the time, a district judge described this town, which housed approximately a thousand residents, as a place notorious for its lack of morality and the absence of legal order. In the featured image, we can see a cowboy from Caldwell, Kansas, who embodies the distinctive attire of these rural laborers, adapted to the demands of their environment and profession. Cowboys taking into account the weather conditions and the terrain they worked in, made various choices regarding the use of chaps, 
which are coverings worn over pants to protect the legs. This photograph became famous as the last recorded image of George Armstrong Custer, an individual notorious for his vanity and inclination to be photographed. Throughout his life, Custer was depicted in over 150 photographs. This specific image was captured just two months before a highly significant event in American history, the Battle of Little Bighorn in 1876. The popularity of daguerreotypes, an early form of photography, began to decline with the introduction of the more affordable ambrotype, an image on a glass plate, during the 1850s. Although the identity of the man depicted in this ambrotype is unknown, this image is considered one of the most captivating portraits of the American West. In this scene, captured in Greenwood County, Kansas, a group of pioneers makes a stop on their journey to enjoy a midday meal. They have settled by their covered wagon, a widely used means of transportation for those seeking new opportunities or land during that historical period. Joella Irwin, notorious for being one of the pioneering cowgirls in the early 20th century, stood out in an era when women were beginning to make their mark in the traditionally male-dominated realm of rodeo and equestrian competitions. She prominently competed in a variety of events. This cabinet card, dating back to 1884 and being a popular form of photography during that time, displays an image taken on the San Carlos Reservation in Arizona and is notable for being the first known photograph of Geronimo. Geronimo was a prominent and respected figure among the Apache and later became a widely recognized cultural icon. Jesse James, widely celebrated as the most iconic member of the famous James Younger Gang, is a legendary figure from the wild era of the American West. As an outlaw leader, he played a central role in a series of robberies and criminal ventures throughout his life. His life came to a sudden and tragic end in 1882 when he was assassinated. Kit Carson, an iconic figure in the history of American frontier expansion, lived a life filled with adventures and played various significant roles. He was renowned for his skills as a fur trapper and explorer, as well as his expertise as a skilled mountaineer. Additionally, Carson gained notoriety for his role as a guide to John Pathfinder Fremont, one of the most celebrated explorers in the United States. In this image dated around 1880, the identities of the people portrayed still remain shrouded in mystery. However, several historians have their suspicions that the man standing might be John Kinney. He gained notoriety for his criminal activities in 1875 when he became the prominent leader of an infamous gang of thieves in southern New Mexico. Pearl Hart, a remarkable figure in the history of the Old West, was involved in one of the last stagecoach robberies recorded during that era which took place in 1899. This audacious act not only immortalized her in the pages of history, but also made her a prominent figure across the country when her story was widely publicized in Cosmopolitan magazine. Rose Dunn, better known by the nickname Rose of Cimarron, made her mark on history at the age of 15. Her notoriety stemmed from an incident in 1895 in the town of Ingalls, Oklahoma Territory, when she purportedly aided her boyfriend, who was an outlaw, during a shootout between law enforcement and criminals. Before becoming a successful cattle businessman, Texas John Slaughter built a remarkable career as a Texas Ranger during the Civil War. Later, he established his final ranch near Douglas, Arizona. A notable photograph from this period, dated around 1885, captures this chapter of his life. Olive Oatman is famous for her extraordinary tale of survival and adaptation. She was captured by members of the Mojave tribe and during her captivity, she received a distinctive chin tattoo made with blue cactus ink, a traditional custom of the tribe. This tattoo represented a culturally significant symbol for the Mojave, believed to ensure a peaceful afterlife. The Texas Rangers, a legendary law enforcement agency in the state of Texas, have origins dating back to the early 19th century. Although they began their activities unofficially around 1823 under the leadership of Stephen Austin, it was not until 1835 that they were formally established. The Texas Rangers played a crucial role in Texas history, specializing in pursuing fugitives and maintaining security on the state's borders. This newly discovered photograph reveals an unusual and intriguing glimpse. A woman who appears to be a cattle rancher, dedicated to cattle driving in an unspecified location in the American Old West. The credit for the discovery of this image is attributed to Mark Lee Gardner, who surprisingly found it in an antique store located in Missouri. Tiburcio Vasquez, a prominent figure in the history of Hispanic outlaws in the Old West, 
built a long and notorious criminal career. This photograph, believed to have been taken around 1865, captures the image of this infamous outlaw. For nearly two decades, Vasquez was involved in a series of illegal activities, cowboys, who played an essential role in driving and handling cattle in the Old West, often visited photography studios to capture and immortalize their images. During these photographic sessions, they would pose wearing their favorite work attire. Bill Doolin, a notorious outlaw in the Oklahoma Territory, became a highly sought-after target due to the generous reward offered for his capture. His criminal career came to a bloody end in August 1896 when he was killed in a shootout. During this event, Doolin received about 20 shots, fired by Heck Thomas, a respected U.S. Deputy Marshal. During the funeral of Tom McClory, Frank McClory, and Billy Clanton, the mourners carried a sign with the inscription, Murdered in the Streets of Tombstone, a statement that resonated with the profound tragedy of the event. These three men lost their lives in one of the most famous showdowns in the Old West, the gunfight that took place behind the OK Corral in 1881. Kate Rockwell, renowned for her artistic career, played a prominent role in entertaining miners in Alaska in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. With a repertoire that encompassed popular songs and dances of the time, she captured the attention and admiration of many. Rockwell was famous for her energetic performances, often dressed in red chiffon outfits. Wild Bill Hickok, often hailed as the most fearless gunslinger of the Old West, is seen in this 1865 photograph wearing his traditional attire, unlike many other images where he opted for theatrical costumes. This image provides a more authentic glimpse into his personal style and clothing preferences of the time. In the year 1876, during the height of the cattle era, Bat Masterson and Wyatt Earp, two renowned lawmen of the Old West, were captured together in a photograph in Dodge City, Kansas. This image immortalizes a moment of significant importance, highlighting the collaboration between these historical figures in a remarkable context of American history.